Scott here from South Bennett Drones with a tutorial on the basic features of the Mavic 3 Thermal. Press enter camera view, it will load a pre-flight check. Just make sure those return to home altitudes and all the other settings are correct or relevant to the environment that you're flying in. At first it will just load a normal vision camera or what's called RGB. To get into thermal, click the IR for infrared. That button will then bring up thermal. To go back to RGB, just click on wide and it'll go back to the regular vision. There is a feature to see RGB and thermal vision at the same time. So click on SBS, that's side by side, and that will show you both. You'll notice at first when you zoom in, it'll zoom only on the RGB camera and not the thermal. To fix this in the top right, there's a little square. When you click that, it'll then say link zoom enabled. With link zoom enabled, you can now zoom in and out and it should zoom in and out on both cameras at the same time. To change the type of thermal vision you're looking at, so from white hot to say black hot, you just click on the color spectrum at the top. You'll notice there's different settings. If I click on black hot, this is what it looks like. There's a few others there that might be handy depending on what you're looking for. If you were using the drone in an industrial environment, there's a handy feature where you can draw a rectangle around an area that you might be looking at and it should give you a reading of the minimum and maximum temperatures within that range. This video was filmed in the morning just over zero degrees Celsius and you can see my face is just over 24 degrees and the front loader lift arms on the tractor down to about negative 17 from overnight. Thanks for watching the video. If you're in Australia and after anything in the DJI Enterprise or Agris range, reach out to South Bennett Drones on sbdrones.com.au and we can give you a competitive quote today.